Hello, everyone. <laughs> I just had my. <laughs> did you? Did you? <laughs> you start that again? No. Yes. So, hi, everyone. Um, <laughs> firstly, uh, we want to thank all our new subscribers. We've um, we've had two thousand new subscribers in um, about two weeks. It's just been phenomenal. It's been a phenomenon. So thank you to each and every one of you. We hope that you enjoy the stuff that we put out. We'll do our best to entertain you. And for our new subscribers, I'm Sarah. I'm Nick. And uh, this is Destino Portugal. And uh, we're a couple of um, lunatics who decided to buy... Speak for yourself. We're one lunatic and a nurse. <laughs> and we decided to buy two houses in Portugal um, and escape... Uh, the rat race and um, and just try to live a different life. I'm sorry, I was just going to try and get a word in edgeways, but you know, go on, carry on. I don't no. want to interrupt you. No, no, I, well, what did you want to say? <laughs> I was just going to say, we bought we bought um, this property 18 months ago now, and we've been we spent a lot of time stuck in England because of Covid and work, but we've been trying to get out here and get as much done as we can so we can be here full-time eventually yes it is soon so um so we had started work on the main house um so that we could kind of get that finished uh so we'd have somewhere to live uh but our plans have changed and we're moving in a new direction <laughs> <Are we? laughs> yes well uh, no we're not actually because it was always our plan to get the ruin done first but we needed to get our little house, our little humble abode into a state where we could camp in it fairly comfortably whilst we do the work on the room. So we've had a lot of people saying, why aren't you finishing the work on the main house? Well, the main house needs an awful lot of work doing to it and it's going to take a lot of money, which we don't have. Um, so the idea is if we get the ruin finished, then we can start letting it out. So we've got an income coming in and then we can afford to do the work on the main house eventually. Yeah. Pretty much, yeah. yeah. And then also tied in with, um, with everything that we have to do building-wise, we have um, land to maintain and manage, yes. uh, which is the law here. And also um, we've done a lot of work on the land so far. And if we just stop now, then everything that we've done so far will be lost. So, so we've just taken a week out um, to get the land in a state where it will be... Um, under control for and, and fire safe for the and, fire season because fire I don't know if you can see behind us oh no you can't because there's loads of brambles behind us but behind the brambles and behind the houses behind us <coughs> is just forest there's the eucalyptus trees yes there's a forest behind us so uh, you're probably well aware that there's a lot of forest oh. fires in Portugal and we need to reduce that risk like that like that yeah just, <laughs> <laughs> just like that <laughs> so anyway, um, <laughs> this video is um, is just it, is is some. If you if you're not interested in watching us do um, some land management, then um, maybe hit the off button now. Or go and watch one of the other videos. Yeah, <laughs> um, we we did. We had our wonderful neighbours. Um, uh, Lionel and Teresa, who helped us to move all the masses of rubble, which was all the render from the uh, two... But I mostly dug out. You didn't dig out the render, did you? No, 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 I didn't. I did a bit, but not as much as you. Yeah, 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 we... All the render that I took off. <laughs> it's not a competition, you know. So anyway, um, there's all the render that we took off the ruin in the last video all the um, bedrock that we dug up in the video before uh, that I can go down, but then Sarah carried out it by bucket. Um, and yeah, they, um, Lionel drove his tractor, we loaded it up, um, me, Sarah, Teresa, Lionel, we loaded up the tractor, we dragged it up here, it's on to what's gonna be the parking space, you'd have seen that in a previous video. We're gonna start there, no, we're going to start. Where are we going to start? We're going to start with a tour around the garden. A little okay. quick tour around the garden, just a quick few minutes around the garden, just to see where we're at. 
Um, and then uh, Miss Sarah can tell you about uh, all the bits that she loves about the garden, where we are with the garden, the land, um, the food forest. Um, yeah, we've had a few comments about the property videos. Um, I know when we were back stuck in the UK, um, we really enjoyed looking at property videos um, to see the range of um, what, what is available here in Portugal, whether you've got a large amount of money to spend, whether you want a renovation project, whether you're looking for a ruin with some land. A building plot. Exactly. It's, it's just good to see, you know, what, what there is out here and available and... I don't know, a bit of armchair property viewing. I, I enjoy it. Yeah, it's nice kind of looking around um, other people's houses. Yeah. I mean, it's great for us. We just get to go and walk around and film other people's houses. And also it's pretty good that you, you can see it from a builder's eye and you can see what needs to be done. And um... Yeah, and and from, from a Sarah's eye, you can taste all the... F- and steal all the fruit that's available <laughs> to steal. <laughs> so you anyway. weren't complaining when I just made you a glass of freshly squeezed orange juice. No, I wasn't no. complaining. OK. Well, there we go. Right. Did you? A big bath. Need to strip that ivy off as well. Um, so when we first got here, this tree was just sticks, and it's just burst into life in the last week or so. Just all the leaves have popped out. And it's looking really happy. So down here we have one of our little orange trees. Next to the massive great big bonfire, which we've got a license to burn. Oh, hello. You see that bit of blossom coming on this orange tree? Those <laughs> noisy birds. Where are they? There's our rubble pile that we started carrying up in buckets and wheelbarrows and um, then we finished bringing it up on the tractor with our neighbour, very kindly. So yeah, the lemon tree. We had a lot of comments saying that the lemon tree um, had been planted in shade. As you can see, the sun's coming up. It gets some of the morning sun. It gets a lot of the evening sun, the afternoon sun through the trees. Um, I mean, it's not looking terribly unhappy, but it's, it doesn't have as much new growth on it as the other trees. But look, here we are. We've got a bit of new growth here. You know, it's, I think it'll make it, but we shall see. Right behind it, we've got one of the navel orange trees, which is looking really happy. It's got quite a lot of blossom on it. Look at all that blossom down there. And yeah, it gets exactly the same amount of sun as the lemon tree and is just thriving, loads of new growth on that. So we might even get some oranges. We might just before we die. No, this year. It's got some blossom on it. This is another navel orange, isn't it? Yep. This is looking really happy. Loads of new growth on that. Oh, that sun's lovely. Over here, got the clementina tree. Again, thriving. Quite a lot of blossom on it. Loads of new growth. Looking very happy. And uh, we've taken quite a lot of um, of the lower branches off these trees, haven't we? We have, yes. In the name of fire suppression and um, health and safety, because when you're walking around, they don't off catch you. So a little baby lime tree, which really is a little baby lime tree. Got a bit of blossom on it. It's not looking overly thriving like the orange trees, but it 
I mean, maybe they're just slower growing. I don't know. And also it was tiny when, when I got it. OK. But, yeah, there's a bit of blossom on it. A little bit of new bud coming, so I'm sure it's not miserable. Look at that view. Nice, that, isn't it? Yes. Right, what are we doing down here? Oh, hello, Ruin. Ah, more foxgloves that you've managed to strum around. That's not a foxglove. That's a campion. But it's nice, though, isn't it? It's pretty, yeah, absolutely. So, yeah, so the land's nice and clear. It's looking lovely. Prune the olive trees, that's one thing we do really need to do. Well, at some point, but I think we can get away with leaving it for yep. now. So, after we moved this mountain of tiles and I was digging around in the brambles, we found that there's just more mountains of tiles all dug Look into at the that ground. Tree's here. steaming. <laughs> that sun is warm. Sorry, say that again. Um, I was just saying, we moved this massive great big pile of tiles and then as I was digging out the brambles here, I was just digging out more and more tiles. I mean, look. There's still more tiles. There's still more and more and more and more tiles, which it's just I'm going. Every time I come up, I just move a few more bits of tile. But I did dig up some of the foxgloves to move them over here so that we've got them up on the terrace. And I move that pretty thing. Here, I have no idea what it is. It's pretty. Okay. And we've got some cuttings in there that I've put in, and an osteospermum. I may have um, relocated some other bulbs from up there somewhere. Okay. Cool. Nice to go in the bin. Awesome. So is that, does that conclude our land tour? I think so. Yeah? Yeah. Oh, and we, um, we took a bit of a branch off this one to stop it falling on our house. We're going to try and retrain it to grow in a different direction. We're going to put in some triangulated supports this way to stop it falling and then we're going to cut this side of the tree and try and convince it to grow in the other direction. So that's why we've just cut this branch off. It's not because I'm an arsehole or because I don't want, I don't love this tree. It's because I love this tree that I'm taking some of it off. Okay, so no nasty comments. So when it was strumming, I asked them to try and strum around some of the borage because um, the bees absolutely love it. It's called star flower because the flowers are in the shape of a star. Um, lots of herbal properties. And that will readily self-seed. So there's lots more of it next year. Oh, look, you can see the pine processional nest up here now. So obviously the caterpillars have come down and burrowed their way into the soil at the bottom so that they can emerge as moths but obviously that's something that we're going to have to watch out for because we have doggies. I've also been um, streaming the neighbours land as well, help them guys out because they help us out because that's what it's like here in Portugal, people help each other out.
okay, okay. Oh, no, Nello, Nello. Oh, Poco. Oh, no, no, She's telling you off now. She's telling you off now, though. Okay, so all the rubble that we've dug out, all the Brenda that we picked off, our beautiful neighbour Nello, Lionel, is very kindly dragging it up the hill in his beautiful tractor. I'm very jealous that he has a tractor. But I couldn't drive a tractor like Nello. <laughs> oh. We've been carrying this up by bucket, so for him to do this is just an absolute godsend and it's just going to save us days in work. So we are very, very grateful to the beautiful Nello and Teresa. Thank you guys.
big, the long one. Okay. Oh. Quit out. Wow. Be careful. Good girl. Come on. Oh,
keep with my heart smiling. It's all right, they're not coming. Come back when you're hungry. You come back, okay? <laughs>